So our, our webinar today is going to be uh, get to know uh, us, let's say Carmelo, doing more with less. Uh, we'll be going through a, a couple of our products uh, that we manufacture here in Puerto Rico and also in Mississippi. And uh, we'll be discussing the features and benefits of these products. First of all, let me uh, invite you to our upcoming educational workshop and webinars. Um, in September 8th, we have a workshop, a live workshop here in Puerto Rico uh, called Constructions with uh, Structural Concrete Insulated Panels. Uh, and that, that, that's gonna be live. We're gonna, we're gonna do a live demonstration on how to uh, apply the, the mortar, the structural mortar, and also the, uh, the mortar for paving. And then on September 21st, we have a webinar on tile adhesive in concrete repair mortars. There we're gonna give more details on these products and, um, and discuss them. So let's start with our webinar today. Um, Carmelo uh, and it's the, their technology throughout the years that we started in 1955, uh, manufacturing masonry blocks. Then on this, in the seventies, we, we started doing manufacturing sand and became the main quarry operator in Puerto Rico, having four facilities, one in Vega Baja, Juanadilla, Dorado, and Isabella. Then in the 80s, we introduced the floor interlocking concrete pavers. And in the 90s, we, we started working with keystone retaining walls and garden walls and marble powder. Then in 2003, we introduced the mineral additive as fly ash and established of the Center for Research and Technical Services, and which is right now our lab here in Tuabaja where we do a lot of investigation with concrete and mortars and other materials. Then in 2005, we, we industrialized mortars and mortar application machines. Um, then in 2010, it be, it be, we started beginning manufacturing structural concrete insulated panels, uh, looking for energy efficient alternatives. And then in 2015, we added more specialized repair concrete mixes and mortars. So we'll be discussing them, uh, giving you a brief idea of what are these products. So our, our opportunities are, you know, reduce storage areas and loss of risk, uh, solving situations of shortage of workers, which nowadays are very hard to find, uh, making the life of the mason and the contractor easier, uh, make projects of higher quality, finish the work faster, reduce project cost, help the bricklayers to be more efficient. Doing so we used to, in Carmelo, we say doing more with less. Here we have uh, our main quarries uh, where we operate in Puerto Rico, right? Uh, and uh, our, our main quarry, here we we use we we have let's say aggregates aggregates we use for block mix wash sand concrete sand coarse aggregate concrete wash sand and block mix sand. Then in Canarico we have gravel, we have specially fine sand, plastering sand, concrete sand, and coarse aggregate. And then in our Big Alta and Dorado facilities or quarries, uh, we have sand, coarse aggregate and block mixes and pea gravel. And these we can also transport to the islands uh, as well as having them here uh, in Puerto Rico where we, we also have customers with ready mix producers, blocks, and also other manufacturers that use these types of aggregates. Very clean sand as well. Um, so let's start with our floors and interlocking concrete pavers. Um, you know, we like to give strength and durability to, to let's say walkways and also parking decks, right? So they're, they're used as a rubber and durable for using construction sites from pedestrian path to heavy vehicle roads with durability that can exceed 50 years. 
Then we also have the floor interlocking concrete pavers, uh, which are quick and easy installation. Um, it does not require specialized equipment or the labor intensive as asphalt and concrete. It also allows a faster construction since it can be transited in immediately. So let's say once, once we, we lay those pavers, I mean, the same day we can walk over them or transit over them because we have compacted the sand and we have placed the, the pavers and then they're, they're all, ready, all ready to do use them at the same day. So in our interlocking concrete pavers, we also have uh, designs where you can use it in your, your pa patio floorings, uh, pa and then we have patterns, and, and you can do it yourself as well. You can, you can organize these pavers as you, as you wish. It's, it's, it's also limitless, you know, the, the way you can put these pavers, right? So it beautifies your, your entrances or, let's say, the, the, your yard as well. Here on the, on the left, we have these uh, pavers where you can, you can either use sand or let's say aggregate, uh, or let's say you can also use uh, mortar uh, in between these pavers. And, um, and you can also give, uh, 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 let's say, uh, different colors on these uh, joints. Then we also have in the interlocking concrete pavers, we have the symmetry, right? and also the bonbon. The symmetry, um, they come in, let's say, 5 16th of an inch by 12 inches by 2, two and 3 eighths of an inch. That's, that's the thickness. So each unit per square foot, you, let's say there's three, three, you would need, let's say, three of these units to make a square foot. And, and in a pallet, it comes out about 180 each. Um, and then in the bonbon, we also have these were, let's say for each unit of square feet, you, you would need 3.79 of them, right? Um, and that, that's the way you calculate it. Um, you, you take the, the amount of square footage times the 3.79, and you'll get the amount of, let's say, bonbon bon you, you need for, for your project. Uh, the units per pallets are like 270. Right, and these come in colors like as a gray, natural, marigold, brown, red, terracotta, yellow. Um, we also require fifty percent, you know, the deposit, and it'll take like like four weeks to uh, get to your project site. We also have the soleado, which is which you can make like a fan or round patterns, um, and. Uh, they come, let's say, 200, 250 per pallet. Then we also have the San Juan Antique. Uh, we have, here in Puerto Rico, in the old San Juan, this is the, we have paved many streets in, in, in that area uh, where we have simulated or mimicked of what our ancestors, like 500 years ago, uh, brought from Spain. And uh, so we have, have mimicked, let's say, the texture and also the sizes of, and color of these uh, of these uh, pavers, and you can see that for each square foot, you would need four point eighty three units of this uh, San Juan antique, and, and they come again two hundred forty per pallet. Now going into the garden retaining wall units, um, this really beautifies, let's say, your garden your entryways, and, and you can do maximum height of walls, let's say of up to 30 inches. Um, they come in multiple shapes and colors, um, and the garden walls are embellished these areas. I mean, they beautify the area, as you can see on these photos. Um, so, so the way you're, you, you put them and, and the design of them, uh, it, it's almost again limitless. You know, they come in a height of four inches by twelve inches, and they have a depth, let's say, of nine inches, um, and they weigh about twenty nine pounds. Right, so you would need three units per per square foot. So they they can make a contour curve. They can combine the shades of of colors. Uh, we can recover land and, and delimit the mark areas. 
So the way you start here is you uh, you you start with a uh, a foundation. Let's say some soil, compacted soil about four inches. Then you come up and uh, you put your uh, first layer of uh, the paver, the garden wall paver, and uh, then then you you keep you keep growing the uh, the, the the lines. You, you first want to do all the what what is straight first, and then then take the rounded areas later. Um, and uh, and they have a ridge on on or let's say a lip on one side where you can that that's where you're gonna put one over the other. So it's very easy to uh, install. We'll we'll give some more details on our let's say next webinar where we're gonna go uh, on how to do to to let's say to lay them. And, and construct these patterns. Then another uh, beautiful, let's say block, again, is our face blocks, our split face blocks, and also the fluted block. They, they again come in gray, natural marigold, brown, red, terracotta, and yellow. And these are, are called architectural masonry blocks, okay? And they will beautify the, let's say all the walls uh, on your buildings, and let's say mostly on, they're used on the exterior, but it, they can also be used in the exterior. And then the mortar can be uh, combined, let's say the color, with the color of that, uh, of that block. So we have render mortar mix of plaster laying blocks, uh, um, and, and they're available in, let's say, about five colors, uh, gray, natural, marigold, brown, red, terracotta, and yellow. So you can do, do that combination. So the manual plastering work we know, know today uh, uh, require a lot of staff, requires a lot of effort and work, uh, generates excess waste. Uh, the process is low, uh, depends on mixing crew. The quality of work varies constantly. The conventional material is more susceptible to cracks. They're prone to peeling off, or, or let's say they sound hollow. Um, and the speed depends on the number of people. So you can see here on your, on your left, you know, how, how the, uh, the area is gonna look, you know, it's, it's a little bit messy when you're, you're working with several materials and you're trying to uh, uh, do the plastering of, of these uh, mortars. So, so the typical mixing, that we know uh, requires many, many man hours, many workers, and uh, so so let us let's, let's count here how, how many people we need to do these uh, typical mixing uh, for your for your paving. So if you we start here on the left, we have laborers sh shoveling shoveling sand. Uh, we have forklifts uh, or, or somebody with a wheelbarrow uh, taking sand to to an area. Of mixing, that'll take about two people. Uh, then you have pile of sand. You also have two workers uh, sieving the sand uh, and uh, taking out all those clumps. And uh, then we, you have a worker shoveling, and you also have an operator for the concrete mixer. And then once you have that that concrete mix, you'll need a wheelbarrow to take it to the uh, uh, the uh, the plaster that were the, or the people who were doing the plastering placement, and those will be like two or four more people uh, in that area. So there's a, there's about fourteen people to do this uh, this type of work. So typical production is about a hundred percent, right? So let's let's compare against doing it with with Carmelo. So what are premixed dry Water bags. Uh, mortars are the mixture in a dry and control process of cement, marble, sand, additives, and fiber, and specifically designed to make life easier for the mason and the constructor. Uh, they're the only manufactured mixtures that can be used both manually and in mortar application machines. So, you know, we have type N, the structural mortars, the type S's, and we have also adhesives and uh, concrete as well, and, and other uh, specialty products. So let's, let's start with the spreadable plastering render mortar type N and S. 
uh, these are used uh, for plastering, right? So they they come in a variety of textures and patterns. Uh, they better bond to the substrate. They improve the workability, uh, environmentally friendly, and uh, that so with with the materials we use, high resistant to sulfate and carbonate attack, which is very important. Uh, near our areas where there's a lot of salt spray, um, less prone to cracking. Uh, and, and for quality, let's say they meet ASTM C270 and ASTM C387 specification. Uh, to uh, Then we, we have optimized for machine application, these mortars. And again, here, we, we usually use the type N and the type S's, uh, and they're called Camelo mix. Um, then we also have the mescla, which has fiber in them, and this really controls the drying shrinkage, uh, or, or let's say plastic shrinkage uh, of, uh, of uh, when when you have cracks. Right? So go, going back on how many people you need uh, in in your let's say when you're when you're plastering a, a, a building. Uh, now we, you, you're going to, instead of using 14 people, now you're going to use, let's say, half of those people uh, when you're using Carmelo mixes, uh, you know, pre-manufactured bags, right? Uh, so you have the type and S. Now, now you have people uh, uh, carrying bag, 50-pound bags. They'll put them in, in the, uh, let's say, mix, mi mixing uh, concrete mixer. And, and then you need somebody with the wheelbarrow taking it to the plasters. And you have a couple of um, masons there uh, plastering the, the surface. So, so these materials, again, have additive fiber, mar marble dust, only requires adding water. So you have a higher productivity, about 150%, and cost of savings about 37%, which is about 37, 37 cents per dollar. So your productivity grows up to up to 250%. So that means you're achieving in one day, uh, 2.5 typical working days, okay? So your, your premix mortars versus uh, these bag mortars from Carmelo's, um, if you compare them, right? Um, you, in, in your job site, regular job site, you would have sand, your 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 equipment receiving an area receiving then you also need some cement and that then you'll need a, a couple of piles of of that right uh, working in your area and you you'll have let's say uh, fugitive dust or rain on on them as well so you have you'll have some losses and that translates to like fifty percent or almost five hundred percent five times. Uh, of, of losses in material, uh, where your cost of, of that mortar will be over $7 a bag to make a, a 50 pound bag, right? So if, if we look at Carmelo's product, right? Your, your mortars, they're ready mixed Carmelo products, uh, which have cement fiber additive, already the marble dust is already in that bag. And we all you need to do is just add water and that that and that bag will cost you less than six dollars for that that same fifty pound bag material. So so there's a, a already a difference in 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 let's say uh, the cost. Uh, so you, there's an economy for for the contractor using uh, Carmelo's mortar. So so that's why we're we say doing more with less, right? Less less piles of cement, less piles of sand. Um, and so, so that's why we're going to the industrial, industrialized mortar technology, right? And now let's say we, we add uh, the mortar, right? Plus we, we do the applications with a machine. Uh, we, have, we have a machine with MTEX, uh, which are called the monomix, uh, which we regularly use for, for plastering or the duo mix, which, which also provides you with, with more let's say, uh, effect, effective uh, amount of bags you can do per, per hour. And then we also have a pump called the M300 we, we use with silos. And we also have the D30, which uh, uh, you can use as uh, to, to just mix the bags and, and put it in a wheelbarrow or, or just place it in place. Okay. 
So with the mono mix, you have three things, right? You can mix it in, in, in your mono mix, which is up here on the hopper. Uh, then you can also transport it uh, with, with a, let's say a hose, which is about 30 feet. And then you can also place it. We, it's, they, they have a gun, which has a 12 millimeter hole where you can project the, the mortar as it was, you can say a, a low pressure shot creep. So do, using these equipment, right, they're, they're designed for plastering, structural, and self-leveling mortars. You can use it as well. So the advantage here is that you get over 100% productivity, uh, reduces the cost of placement, and it's ideal for mason crew, portable, and easy to move. Uh, it's instantly prepared mix. Uh, then you, you'll get a projection cap capability of 675 square feet per hour, which that translates to 550 bags a day. So let's say, just say, let's say you can uh, do, let's say 60, 60 bags in one hour almost. So eliminating waste and loss, right? You're gonna, you're gonna get less, less dust on, in the air and um, less material at waste uh, using these types of bag. Uh, you also eliminate or sep the separation of material storage. Now, instead of having piles and piles of sand, cement and, and powder, then you'll just have your, your, your materials on a pallet. And uh, you can you can also store them with with uh, with plastic to protect them from from rain or in a in a building, right? If it's possible, uh, so you have greater control of materials. So so greater control, and when we we also say greater controlling quality of that material. If we say that in that bag there's a four thousand psi mortar, that's that's what you're going to get bag after bag after bag, right? So let's look at this video of how the, the machine works. Here we're placing the, uh, the, the structural mortar on a, uh, on a ceiling, right? These are our structural concrete insulated panels. That's why they have steel on the surface. And see, you have less rebound of these uh, material. It's, it's, we have a, a really sticky mix there so that it doesn't come out. And, and again, you can produce about 60 bags per, per hour. So this is gonna be real quick. So you can see that the, the, the person behind the gun doesn't get dirty or anything. Um, but again, we also, require safety glasses, uh, you know, gloves, uh, that you wear a long sleeve shirt, or even, a, even a hat, and also, uh, you know, boots. That's, that's very important that we, we have safety first. So when we are using mortar application with machines, now it's, it's gonna be, you, you, quicker, let's say, uh, your process of, pay, of, of, of uh, plastering. So we have the, our, our mortars in, in, in a pallet, right? You, you bring that, that sack to the machine, the machine will transport it on a 30 foot hose. And we, we also use the spray gun as, 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 uh, as a mean of, of spraying it over the surface, right? But that, again, this is a low pressure, all you need is the 240 volts in your, in your area. Uh, and, uh, and also you need about uh, 50 pounds of uh, pressure of water. Uh, so, so it only re requires adding water. You have cost saving of, of over 80%. So your pro productivity increased from 100 to 400%. That means that in one day, you, you're doing typical, typical work days of four days. So, so imagine that. So imagine in one day doing, doing four times of what you could do in, do in, in, in a single day. So that's, that, that's incredible. That's 400% more product productivity using again, the mortar and also the machine. So now you're, you're saving money. Uh, so the cost of saving over 80% means 80 cents per dollar. Okay. 
Now let's let's talk about our thin set mortars uh, for floors and wall. We we have the uh, PP thirty five hundred, um, and this is used uh, as a dry mortar for tile installation. It is used for floor and wall installation requirements. It is based with with white or gray color. Uh, it means NC A one one eighteen. Uh, requirement and when we when we mention these NC and ASTM, I mean we're looking at quality that is is needed from from different labs and, and agencies, right? Um, where they require these uh, these qualities so that so that every time you you get a bag, that's 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 what you're going to receive good quality product and uh, and. Uh, and next, and, 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 and next, quality after quality. So it'll, it'll, it'll be all there all the time in each bag. You're not depending on somebody, uh, you know, mix mixing these products. Um, so it covers in an area of about seventy square foot within within a quarter inch trowel, and that's with with, with our, uh, you know, tall set mortars. I mean, that's that's something doable. You know, and here we we you can look at the high absorption red body tiles and slabs. That that's where we're going to use your wall floor and wall PP thirty five hundred, right? And then and again they come in fifty pound bags, twenty five pound bags, and ten pound pound bags. So the type of of tiles you can install, you can you can do uh, tiles in your bathroom slab, uh, semi vitreous uh, glass with ceramic. Absorbents such as ceramic, quarry, and cement-based slabs, uh, brick tiles, natural stone tile, terrazzo marble, gypsum board, all high absorption pieces. So that's what you can do with this floor and wall uh, PP3500 more set. Then, then we're going to another higher quality product. Are we going, we're, we're, let's say we're going from good uh, to to better and best, let's say. Um, so here we have a higher quality product called contractor grade polymer. Uh, this is a modified thin set 5500. And that's that's the name of the product. And it's a polymer modified dry mortar for slab installation. It is used for floor and wall installation requirements. Uh, it has a, for low absorption slabs, up to 50 inch long tiles. It is based coat with a white or gray. Uh, it meets the, and exceeds NCA 118 and 118.4 requirements. And uh, it covers an area about 70, 70 square feet per, with using, again, a, a quarter inch trowel. So you have 70 square foot per, per bag, okay? So here you can see on the left, a picture of, of the low absorption body tiles and, and slabs. And again, this this product is available in a fifty pound bag. Uh, so again, you can you're doing a tile for bathroom slabs, semi buttress glass with ceramic, ceramic, quarry stone or cement based slabs, terrazzo porcelain tile, glass listellos, and also pieces of low or no absorption. Then for, with an, another higher quarter quality product. Uh, as than before, is that the professional contractor polymer modified thin set premium seventy five hundred. That's the name of the product. Premium seventy five hundred comes comes in these orange bags, and uh, they're again polymer modified dry mortar for slab installation. It is used in floors, wall slab installation requirements with low zero sub absorption and up to fifteen inch long tiles. So. So, and again, it comes in white and gray, and it meets and exceeds ANSI 118.1 and 0.4 requirement. It is, it is also, it also covers 70 square foot with a quarter inch tile. And here we have different uh, tiles that you can use uh, for, let's say, low absorption body tiles. Here we have natural polished stones, uh, crystal marble, granite marble, and marble. And so, so you have your, your mosaic natural stones, your marbles, your ceramic with zero absorption. Uh, you, you can use it with uh, uh, quarry slabs, uh, quarry or cement-based slabs, terrazzo, porcelain tile, 
glassless fellows and also pieces with zero absorption. Great product. Then with uh, another great quality product, we also have the Ecoflex long form and tile, uh, with the, that's what it means, LFT uh, 90, 9500, which is a pro, what we call a professional grade thin set. This one has a polymer modified uh, dry in dry mortar, specially formulated for large heavy slabs. It is also for walls and, and floors and installation where, where we require, let's say, large and heavy uh, tiles. Uh, has zero absorption slab and up to four feet long tiles you can you can install. Uh, it is a base coat in, in the same white color. Uh, and, and again, it meets ANSI A118.4 and 118.11 requirements. And, that, and, and these are the, these ANSI are specified, let's say, with, by an engineer or an architect uh, because they want certain quality. Uh, uh, with, with their materials uh, for their buildings. So you, you can use three quarter inch trowels if required on a project and which sometimes the, the engineer would, would, would specify uh, or and covers an area approximate 40 square foot with a half inch trowel. So you see on your left how, how long these tiles are and they really stick to these tiles and hold them forever. Uh, and they come in uh, 50 pound bags and also 10 pound bags. So here on, on our blue uh, square, we have the what type of tiles you can you can stick with this with these uh, with the LFT 9500. You got the mosaic natural stone, the marble ceramic zero absorption, the quarry slabs, the quarry cement based slabs, the terrazzos the porcelain tiles, glass listellos, and any zero absorption pieces or large size exceeding 15 inch at either end. Okay, real, real nice, uh, uh, let's say, uh, thin set. And we also manufacture the polymer modified routes, uh, unsanded, which is the U, and the sanded S. Uh, and uh, here we, you'll, you'll see that where and also the characteristics of, let's say, low water absorption, easy to clean, high resistance to abrasion and, and ultraviolet light, right? Uh, hydrophobic properties for high resistance to whole mold and mildew growth, especially in, in bathroom or kitchens, uh, use on floors, walls, countertops, showers, pools, and spas for grouting all types of interior and exterior ceramic tiles in dry and wet condition uh, for grounding natural stones, slate, granite, and, and agglomerate stones uh, for so much applications such as spas, pools, uh, lounging areas. Uh, then you have the sanded, the sanded tiles uh, for joints width about six, one sixteenth of an inch to one eighth of an inch. Then for the unsanded, uh, you have you 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 have joints width of eighteenth uh, of an inch to uh, three quarters of an inch. You can have, especially on on the uh, perimeters of your of your floor, you need at least half inch, uh, uh, let's say, of a joint, just to make sure these 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 uh, let's say uh, tiles don't pop up. That's that's very important, and they come in a very amount of colors, the white bone, vanilla, silver gray, gray, charcoal gray, tan, terracotta brown, champagne, uh, and available in 50 and 10 pound bags. And we put colors so you can, they can remind you of what type of product you have. So if you, if you have the light blue one, you have the uh, unsanded and, and let's say the burgundy would be this, the sanded one. Then one of our one of my favorite products is the self-leveling underlayment mortar. It uses I mean, and, and it uses you, know, you can level rough concrete surfaces, under tile carpeting, and hardwood floors, commercial and residential structures, uh, overcoat in places and precast floors where quick turnaround is needed. Uh, meets ASTM C10 specification. Now I've done a lot of. Uh, underlayments uh, in, let's say, pharmaceuticals, uh, 20,000 square feet, up to 40,000 square feet in those areas. Uh, but in, in some areas, you, you're going to require 
that uh, let's say a primer, uh, an acrylic primer or a latex primer or an epoxy primer sometimes. Um, and, that, and that is to let's say once you open the pores, but let's say with a shop blasting machine uh, where you want to prep that area and then you, you have these open pores, then you would use a primer to, to close those pores and make sure you, no bubbles come up uh, on the surface of these underlayments. Now underlayments, again, are used uh, under, let's say, on the tiles, carpeting, and, and hardwood because they're, they're more porous okay, than, than a standard self-loving self topping. And that's why we use underlayments. So if we go to our topping, which is our FS level mortar, uh, these you can use to correct water holes and concrete roofs, let's say ponding areas. Uh, you can correct concrete surfaces before applying sealants uh, to correct horizontal surface defects, interior and exterior, since you know they're cement based and not gypsum based. That's why you can use them inside uh, buildings and also exterior buildings. Um, you can use it to repair re and, and that, that require quick setting on concrete. I mean, the, the, this product really sets in four hours. Uh, it's recommending for leveling and repairing concrete slabs. And they come in in, in, in 50 pound buckets or, or bags. Then we have our hydroplug cement. Uh, and this is a very interesting product where and it has over 5,000 PSI in, uh, in, in, in resistance in 24 hours under ASTM C109, and it's ultra fa fast sealing and setting of active water leaks, like you, you can see there in the picture. Uh, uh, you can use it on concrete and masonry uh, to control the, the water uh, or gushing water. Uh, it's designed to repair cracks and gaps more, more than one inch deep in walls and floors. You can use it as anchorage and, and, and it also resists humidity. Uh, you can use it in basement, elevator shafts, tanks, uh, ducts and piers, uh, tunnels, storm drainage, foundation, docks, jetties, and storm walls and pipes. So the way to use this, this mortar is that you, you let's say you, you, you do like a, a Play-Doh ball, right? You, have to, you really have to wear gloves because the, the heat of this material, once it's hydrated, it's, it gets real high. That's why you wear gloves. Then, then where you're going to fix it, you you stick that that ball over the the gushing water, right, and that, at that hole, and, and, you, and you just press, put some pressure on there for for a couple of minutes. It, it'll start getting hard. And as soon as it gets keeps getting hard, then you start shaving the material, the excess material that you won't be using until then. You can be able to finish the. Uh, the, the surface of, of that uh, of that repair and so it's a pretty neat product but it, again you, it also needs to be confined in a hole or, or a crack then we also have a uh, the HC mix concrete I mean this 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 concrete is unbelievable I mean you can it comes in colors uh, like terracotta marigold, marigold brown gray and you can do toppings uh, it can be used as a construction patio slab, paving, repairing, repairing sidewalks, curbs, steps, ramps, walkways, piping, footings, foundation walls, and foundations, swimming pools, birth bath, uh, slope pr protections, um, especially when you have slope because this, this product, you can make it, and I'm going to discuss that in a minute, uh, you can make it that the aggregate is exposed. Um, so it's anti-slip or, or slip resistant. It has fiber. It can it reduces the crack. We we have it with a compressive strength of over three thousand psi, and it meets ASTM C thirty nine and and C three eighty seven specification. Now the way you we you you can place this this material. Then after after an hour, if you want you if you want an exposed uh, surface of of aggregate, you then after an hour, with your regular garden hole, you can just spray out with water the paste that's on the surface, and and, and that paste will go out and, and will expose the the aggregate of, of that mortar or, or concrete, let's say. So it's it's a very amazing product in, in terms of what you can do with it, especially in those handicap uh, handicap let's say ramps or or sidewalks that you need 
more more traction. That's that's, that's that this is an excellent product for that. Um, then we have our corrosion inhibitors uh, repair motor. The, 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 these uh, they have uh, migrating corrosion inhibitors, which will in the mortar will migrate into in, into and the, the uh, let's say the surface of that steel and protect it against you know additional let's say uh, iron attacks, let's say uh, salts and uh, additional let's say corrosion. So it protects it against damaging effect of the corrosion. Uh, it resists let's say. Uh, it has a, a 1800 psi, allowing greater in safety real, reliability in, in any repairs. Uh, you can repair all structure plating where the steel needs to be protected. Uh, repair prefabricated elements such as concrete beams, columns that can be coated to further protect the steel from corrosion. Uh, repair bridge piles, piers, and wet areas. Uh, new or existing buildings constructed in new concrete and block where the degree of rust protection can be increased with this mortar, uh, the protecting for any building near, near the coast. So I'm, now I'm going to uh, play a video of, uh, of the, uh, one of the repairs we have done with this uh, product. Let's say you have spall due to corrosion, right? Your, your rebar expands so that your concrete is, is, uh, will, will fall off the surface, right? So you can paint the, the you, have, you have to uh, clean the, the rebar, let's say near white, and then you can coat the rebar or you can leave it expo exposed and, and use the corrosion directly because our product has the migrating corrosion inhibitor. And will protect the rebar, with or without you know, adding additional coating to that rebar as well. So, so it, it'll be just one step. Okay. So this is the uh, Carmelo corrosion repair mortar with corrosion inhibitor as well. And then, if if you want to repair areas where it's it's more than just the the stucco that came out, you can do the. Um, you can do structural repair, right? With the corrosion resistant repair mortar. It is specially formulated to, to severe cases, concrete mass loss due to rod corrosion. And again, these, these, these uh, rods can expand almost three times the volume due to the corrosion. Uh, high reliability or restore thickness of loss due to corrosion problems. Uh, it resists, it's resistance about 4,000 PSI allowing greater safety and reliability in any repairs. Uh, it is, it's, it's a mortar capable of being sprayed, shock treated uh, with the mono mix or the dual mix machines. It's highly cost effective mortar for any work that needs to be recovered. Uh, say where you where you you need you need to restore this, the safety and also the useful life of this of the uh, the structure. A repair of the prefabricated elements such as concrete beams and columns that can be coated to further protect the steel corrosion. Repair bridge piles, piers, and wet areas. You know, I've been around, let's say, several years. Uh, you know, working with with structures that that need repairs. I mean, especially on on ceilings due to you know ponding water, and also uh, you also have the the salts uh, uh, driven by wind as well. Or if you have a bridge, um, you'll you'll get those spallings underneath the. the, the Say beams or or girders, so so this is a great product to do those repairs. It can be on a, a marine dock, uh, where you know where where you can also do the repairs underneath the piers as well. Um, so I've I've done a lot of work doing repairs with these uh, with these types of uh, uh, corrosion inhibitors, and, and and they last many many years as well. So you you you're giving an extra service life to your to your building. Uh, using these repair mortars with a corrosion inhibitor, and again, they they have migrating corrosion inhibitors, will which will protect your rebar from expanding again for a long time. Then, one of my uh, favorite favorite products with Carmelo is the structural panels for east for fast and efficient construction. I mean, here we 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 we, have, we manufacture these uh, panels in Mississippi, um, and um, 
and they come in a width of, let's say, four feet with the uh, a height, let's say, of eight, 10 to 20 feet high for the PSM uh, panels. And uh, you can do walls and, and you can also do the, uh, the, the roof slab or, the floor or, or additional floor slabs that you want to add to, to a building up to four, four story high, right? So let's talk a little bit about that. Um, if, if let's say in a, in a, in a traditional uh, structural panel, let's say you, if you compare it against block, you, it would take, let's say CMUs that are 1800 PSI. Uh, and if you take those, those blocks and you fill them with foam um, or let's say uh, EPS, and then you add some, some steel on, on the side of that, of that block, then you have something a little bit similar to what is our, let's say structural wall panels and, and slab panels. But again, that's only 19 or 1800 PSI. Our, our system has 4,000 PSI because we, we have our in, insulation plus the uh, 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 80 K, KSI steel. Then, then we put over that, that steel a three quarter inch of a structural mortar that's 4,000 PSI. Then we 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 pave it with um, with a with a uh, with a re regular finished mortar like our type N or S's. And here we have you know we can also do the uh, let's say stairs or or the or the, or the stair stalls, um, or landings. Um, here on the top, you can see how they they just two with two people they can put these panels together. Um, with, with let's say a heat gun, you can put the ducts or for let's say for for plumbing and electricity. Then then after you put let's say the walls and, and the ceiling, uh, you can then spray the your structural mortar and your finished mortar, and, and you'll be done with that. Let me talk about about a, uh, this one here on the this for the the floor slab or the roof slab. We also have the PSG panels where they have girders and you can add two two half inch rebars on the bottom and these we use them when we have we have spans up to from from 14 to 32 feet so so that's where we use them so here your conventional you know uh, construction where they have forms and uh, with wood and and, and and wood wood forms or it could be steel forms so they they People would need cranes and other heavy equipment to, to move these around. As you see on the bottom, how clean our sources are. And again, these panels can be carried by one or two people and just put them in place. Um, so you don't, you don't need any he heavy equipment. So the, so the installation of these structural panels or, or structural concrete insulated panel skips is faster than other construction method. It involves less manpower, greater amount of square footage installed per unit in time. Uh, project stays cleaner, more organized, safe system for the workers, uh, fac facilities that work uh, uh, for the group, let's say, or let's say facilitates the work for the group. Uh, it has thermal insulation for savings in electricity. And, and also it's a very cost-effective uh, construction. So, why we say it's, we're doing more with less, Carmelo concrete paver beautifies your pa patios, organizes your garden and, and garden walls, uh, use Carmelo's pre-mix mortars for speed, reduce placement costs with Carmelo mixtures application machine, reduce construction time and save elect elect electrical energy with Carmelo structural panels. So the it's indis the indisputable quality of Carmelo for more than 68 years avoids claim where you're avoiding claim. You have, you have a very, let's say, good quality product. It organizes your work and avoids the, any trails, right? Um, you have, saves money with, so you can save money with Carmelo products. That's, that's the main, let's say, uh, thing here. So again, we, for our upcoming educational workshop and webinars, we're inviting you to the our September eighth workshop. Uh, uh, this will be on the construction with the skips of the structural concrete insulated panel. Again, we, we we're going to show you how to how to, to 
do the let's say houses or or buildings with with this this system and how to apply the mortar and uh, on september 21st and we will have another webinar where we're going to go into details on on tile adhesive and concrete repair mortar so so you'll have more knowledge on how to use these materials so how how to register you can you can register your Carmelo, our website, carmelo.com or, or info at carmelo.com. You can send an email there or the carmeloacademy.com. So if you have any questions or, or doubts, uh, we can, you can either write me here a text or you can unmute your phone and, um, and we, we will be happy to answer them. And thank you very much for, for listening. You can also, uh, Call our offices at 251 9474 extension 254 or 283. And you can also register to, to our webinars or let's say our, uh, uh, our, our let's say workshops as well. And again, through carmelo.com or info at carmelo.com. Questions, we really appreciate your time. And, uh, and again, uh, Carmelo is the undisputed. Uh, quality uh, for your next project. Have a great day and uh, and see you soon.